to that in that you have more control. Well, there are disadvantages too, and that you have to do that. Um, one of the neat things is that because of the way you can chain those promises together, there is an API that's sort of based off Express uh, service. JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I'll see if I can find it. Um, no, it's not this one. So that's, but yeah, basically the idea that you have like middlewares that would sit inside that. So you set up into one of those middlewares was one that you could just get with a list of viewer files. Um, and then go and cache those for you and have some of the version in there too. Um, but for this, uh, I, I didn't want to do that just because I thought it would add like one more layer of abstraction and make it a bit too abstract. But um, like in here, I basically have this version that I'm picking up and I'm setting that in the web app. In development, I just set it to the current like, Unix timestamp, so it's pretty double spending. And in production, it's uh, it's using the number of commits to get basically a little bit of a go. I tried to do fives in like the whole file system in there and stuff, and there's actually a lot of files and just the globs were not producing results very quickly, so I stopped doing that and that's going to go to the next step. Um, but yeah, basically in here I just go and in the parts where I, I open a cache, I cache the request, and then I have one that goes through, iterates through the caches, and if they have an old version, just that was my kind of